gang welcome back hello again this is Alexander coming at you this video we're gonna cover the basics of how to use Skype on our last webinar I was on it became abundantly clear that this video was necessary there were a couple of people uh, after we had ended the webinar that were saying hello 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 back and forth is anybody here uh, who's leading this thing kind of deal and then they started talking a little bit and within a couple of seconds they were also asking each other how do I turn this off how do I end the call how do I basically if we are in the real world how do we hang up this thing so I wanted to go over some of the basics and teach you how to use Skype so here we go off on our adventure as you can see here on my screen right here we've got the Skype desktop icon highlighted you can also access it right here. Skype is right in here. You can access it from either of those two places. So you can just double click on that and we will see what it pulls up. And here's what it pulls up. This is your main Skype window. And I will bring your screen down just a tad. As you can see here, my status is currently online and these are some of my contacts in here so the first thing I wanted to show you and take you through was the personal message and that's what will show up next to you in your chat window like here you can see this is my contact another Alex his personal message it was January we were freezing now how did he get to that he just left click right in here and here's my personal message tagzilla ultimate bloggers community so you want to keep this short but it's a good way to give information to your other skype contacts and that's you can put any kind of little anecdote that you want to put in there a clever little saying a lot of times i like to use it as well if i'm going to stay online if if i have to step out for an hour i i can say it's be back at 4 p.m. central time or 4.30 p.m. You can give people an idea when you'll be back if you're going to be away. Almost like a little voice message right in here. Now the next thing as I showed you a little bit below when we looked at my online status. Remember if we go down here you can see that I am currently my status is online. Now if I click over here I have some options that pop up. Online is grayed out because that's what I'm at now. Skype me will basically allow anyone to contact me and of course if I'm away not available or offline so that's what you can do when you want to exit the, the Skype window you can also access those same options right up here at the top so it's very handy also the button over here you might see we'll go ahead and get out of that missed calls I click on this flag here 26 new events got some missed calls from John Harmon, Costa, uh, Cammy, probably just ignoring her call there. No big deal. So, also here's some missed uh, chat windows. So you can see any kind of missed events you've used just by doing that. And your chats will also pop up in their own separate window. Now, also you can go up here to File. You can again change online status from here. So three different ways go into edit your profile and as you can see on on my screen you can put in a lot of different details in here your full name country all this sort of stuff and you can change your picture right from in here by clicking on this change button and then selecting any picture that you've uploaded here if you want to browse, you don't see a picture that's in there, you can click on the browse button and pick any picture from your hard drive. So that browse button right there. So we'll go ahead and cancel this. And that was personalizing, changing your picture. So we will go back into the profile. Or you can get new pictures online, show a different time from your computer, GMT, there's a number of time zones here and I'll go ahead and cancel out of that screen so now we will show you the next part under file you can 
personalize, which again, same similar kind of options, change your picture, add video to your mood, change wallpaper, do some other things and personalize. A lot of that you can also do in your profile. Change your password right here if you wanted to. Right under here you can set your privacy settings and we'll go ahead and click on that, show you a little bit about what's going on in the privacy screen. And if you look over here, we've got tabs. We'll start with the general tab. And you can see that when you double click a contact or use the address field, I've got it defaulted to start a call. So that's why when some of you double click on me, you call me and, and then you don't know what to do because you've started a call. You could set that to start a chat if you wanted to default. It, it pops up a window for me when someone requests my contact defil details. These are all the Skype normal defaults, so I haven't really changed. I changed these up, I think, a little bit. Uh, shows five, shows active, or shows me away when I'm inactive for five minutes. Start Skype when I start Windows. English is what I speak. So that's the first general tab. Audio settings, you can change things up for the microphone, let Skype adjust, speakers, and then ringing. So whenever someone calls you, the ringing sound you'll hear. Now these are the sounds that will play when customized sounds for calls, chats, alerts, and notifications. So this is the Skype ringtone, and here's the normal how it sounds. Okay, hopefully you heard that. Of course, you can mute all sounds, or you can choose different sounds in here from there. I'll let you play with that on your own time. Video settings, I don't use that too much, but we'll go to the Privacy tab, and this, I've just got the basic defaults, allow calls from anyone, automatically receive video from my contact list, allow chats from anyone pretty open about it in, in business, that's my philosophy. Uh, you can block users. We'll go over to the notifications tab now and you can show a Skype call alert which is it's pretty cool. I'll show you exactly how this works if you see show an example. So we'll go down here so you can actually see what happens when this thing pops up. I will show you the first one show a Skype when someone calls this is how the call alert you can answer reject or chat one more time so you can see that and now show a, if you want to do a Windows tray alert that's what it would look like call or reject or chat and it says uh, right in here that pop up a window when someone requests my contact details. So you have that there. And then display a notification in the Windows tray when a contact comes online. I have that unhighlighted because I have so many contacts I'd have tray icons coming up all the time. But I do want someone when someone starts to chat with me to notify. Someone sends me a file, birthday, and we'll go over here right quick and just show you an example of what that would look like. It's an example of a trailer. So that's that tab. Now we will move back over into here, your call tab. And I've got it set to allow anyone to call me. And I can go over here to advanced options and show a Skype call alert. And you've already seen that, the Windows tray alert. I don't want to automatically answer incoming calls because I may not be here. And then there's, of course, auto redial. And so that is the, there's call forwarding, I haven't really played around with that anymore. I don't have any chat or SMS type of settings, but you could play with that if you want to use it. And in here in the advanced, we've got associate Skype with calls to the web, start extras manager. I wouldn't really recommend playing with that because I haven't done too much with it either. But that's the basic, this is actually the, if you go up here, you can see this is the options tab. So a lot of handy stuff in here. We'll talk about that more on part two of the video where we actually go through a chat and a call. So I'll see you on the next video.